Jeff Ray here to discuss what's coming our way later on tonight. We ended up with a fairly okay day today yeah. in advance of what's coming. Yeah, this afternoon and f early evening hours, we might have to be dealing with some thunderstorms. They're already in our area as we take a look on first a wide view. You can see the Metroplex is free of any of this thunderstorm activity. But we don't have to get too far down 45 as soon as we hit Navarro County past Corsicana. That's where some rain and thunderstorms climbing up from the south and also spreading out a little bit now. Most of this activity is benign, just some good rains. But we have a stronger thunderstorm now, just has passed uh, into northern Anderson County. And there's a lot of lightning with this. We'll keep track of this. It's going to be in Athens by about 441 and Leagueville 448, Brownsboro 457. You can expect some very heavy rain, maybe some small hail with this and some lightning. The severe weather risk is around with this thunderstorm activity for the rest of the day and the evening. There could be some large hail, some damaging winds, and of course localized flooding given the rains of late, and this is going to be some very heavy rain, although in isolated spots. And notice I've drawn that line on the other side of the Metroplex, so this through the next couple of hours could reach into the metro area. We'll keep an eye on on it, and you might have to dodge a few thunderstorms here in the evening hours. But when we lose the daytime heating, we get a few hours into darkness, the storm threat will quickly diminish. We'll get these temperatures down into the low 70s by the time we get to the end of the evening. Now, look at all this activity going on out to the west around Amarillo. There's tornado watches that stretch from Kansas all the way to the Big Bend. Very active weather afternoon going on out to our west. This is a shot, a photo sent in from our storm chaser, Mike Pendergrass, and you can see. That that's a threatening looking storm indeed just outside of Bishop near Amarillo. That activity is going to come into here tomorrow. I think in the morning hours, you can see here are our rain chances for tomorrow as we go from about an 80% coverage at 6 in the morning to almost everybody seeing some rain and thunderstorms by 8 a.m. And then notice how they step back rather sharply by the time we get into the afternoon. This is going to be a day where the morning commute will be dealing with some rain and thunderstorms. First, of course, what's going on this afternoon, you can see how it reaches into the Metroplex, even up to Denton McKinney, according to the forecast models. And then this is what I'm talking about for tomorrow. So this is 7 a.m. Could be some strong winds with this, frequent lightning, some very heavy rain. We will have a flooding risk, especially along the Red River counties with this. I'll stop it again at 9 a.m. And you can see now it's enveloping the Metroplex. And then by the time we get to the noon hour, almost all of the eastern half of North Texas is dealing with this. Again, the, the severe weather threat will be continuing. And then as we get to 4 in the afternoon for the evening commute and everybody out of school, it looks like the storms will be gone. We might have some redevelopment overnight as a cold front comes towards us and some activity along the front. But I don't think we'll see some severe weather on Thursday. It's tomorrow I'm worried about. We see a slight enhanced risk over North Texas. The main threat with this line will be damaging winds, some flash flooding. And along that leading edge, we could have those quick spin up tornadoes as well. So we'll keep an eye to that certainly for tomorrow morning. Here's the seven day forecast. We're talking about temperatures in the 70s, and on the other side of that front, look at Friday and Saturday into the low 70s. Mother's Day looks good. Stay with us. We'll be right back.